Warning, the following video may cause butthurtness. Viewer discretion is advised. So, I really debated on if I should even record this video. Meh, let's do it anyway. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mike Waltrides. Coming at you this evening, you go right before the Battle for the Grid 7-Eleven Back Alley Championship on the MoPlays channel, right? So, I was hanging out and I was doing my stream today and CFP came and like, came my chat was like, yo, they just announced two ca uh, cabinets. Well, they weren't really announced, but uh, Bill's Retro Gaming like did a video about two leaks, the Miss Pac-Man Legacy and the Yoga Flame Edition leak, right? So, watch the video. It's great. Everything's freaking awesome about it. It's a legacy cabinet put in the midway style. You know what I mean? Like, it's got artwork that you don't see in an arcade because it's custom artwork. And everything's good. Good game list. Everything's online, etc., etc. We're not here to talk about that. Bill's got a whole video about that. If you want to watch it, go check out his video, right? But we're watching, and of course, you know how it goes everybody has to do something that involves it now to care to, to most of the people in the home arcade community's credit they shared his video so shout out to them for that right so i'm watching 19k fox right and this isn't a dig at 19k because he's great i'm watching the stream and i'm hanging out in this stream and literally literally the comments like you know what i'm saying they start like ripping it apart and whatever it's like well why put this out why do this why do that etc etc and it's like oh well if xyz company would have put xyz title on the cabinet they'd be burned at the stake etc etc and this is when i left out because at that point i'm sitting there like okay this isn't a stream talking about the stuff on the cabinet it's literally they're bashing rk1 up all right now let's be clear i don't work for rk1 up they don't pay me they don't give me money none of that jazz right but I enjoy their products, right? You know what I'm saying? And I buy everything except Toy Shock. I will never buy a Toy Shock. Okay. But I enjoy everything, you know? I buy it all, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like Pac Man, but I have Pac Man 40th, you know what I mean? Because you want to see stuff grow into space, right? But here's the question if you don't like something, why talk about it? If you don't agree with something, why talk about it i don't like hatchbacks right you don't see me on here talking about oh yo that new mazda 3 is fire and whatever else right i, I guess i'm not like everybody else like i talk about stuff that i actually care about you know what i mean now we can talk about it tomorrow on the show and chill you know what i mean we can have a conversation about it etc cetera, etc cetera, right but like and i guarantee it's like yo the people who don't like this thing are literally going to get their clicks about it clicks and views about a topic that they don't give a crap about or you know what i'm saying that they don't really like and then it's like well then why even cover it you know what i mean and before anybody says it oh well it's news it needs to be talked about yes you're absolutely right if you know what i'm saying if you're making a video to con inform new consumers or potential consumers right now who may have been looking for it then cool for instance there are plenty of people who did not want to go buy big blue that was waiting for something cool or something better for them to actually want to partake in that's potentially cheaper capcom legacy is that is that cabinet right and then to talk about that or to talk about how oh well this is another rehash from a company and and not understanding why they're doing certain things like that right they're a company they're in business to make money do y'all complain when when nintendo puts out a, a whole new mario do, do people complain when the nintendo switch put out remasters from the wii u or the nintendo switch like uh Super Mario Brothers U, uh, Bowser's 3D Fury, and uh, Super Mario 3D World, etc., etc. No, people went and bought them because they wanted them. Because 10 to 1, there's only like 12 million people in the whole world that bought a Wii U, and there's 100 million Switch owners. And it, the same logic kind of applies in the home arcade like space, like home arcade three quarter scale space. I don't want Rex to come at my head because I keep saying home arcade, right? And the three quarter scale arcade space. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because freaking Pac-Man sells. Street Fighter sells. You know what I mean? Like, the comments, bro. Like, it's 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 crazy. Like, yo, y'all don't have anything else to do? 
like to sit and attack something. And, and what would what, what really would chaps my hide about it is like the same mother truckers that are sitting here and they're gonna dog this or, or going to dog this tonight are the same mother truckers that praise Dota Dodo. Full disclosure, I got a review code for freaking Donut Dodo three weeks ago. And literally my review is going up this week. And it's literally going to be a 60 second review because everybody's praising Donut Dodo like it's the second coming and it's mid at best. There, I probably just saved you a 60 second watch. Man, cats is tripping. Like for real, like it's to the point where people can't just be happy with what they buy now. It's not made for, for, for the vocal minority. It's not made for us. You know what I mean? It's made for the casual consumer who might see it and be like, oh, I remember that. Hey, honey, that looks cool. Maybe we can take this home. That's what it's designed for. Or people who have limited space and want to upgrade things. I literally said on my stream today, I love Big Boo. Blue. Bobby built me a panel. You know what I'm saying? It's freaking great. But I literally said, I was like, well, Big Blue, you might get moved around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So I can go get that gimmick because the games list is great. Et cetera, et cetera. Again, we'll talk about all this tomorrow night, right? But I never understood, and I still to this day don't understand talking about something that you don't like again i'll use toy shock as an example i've never you know what i'm saying i don't have any personal people with toy shock i just i don't like it so i don't talk about it i don't make videos talking crap about toy shock you know what i mean or if i arcade puts out ninja clowns 3 or i don't even think ninja clowns 3 exists but magical drop 3 right i didn't do a video like oh yeah magical drop 3 is out in the store i mean knowing that i'm not gonna play it you know what i mean like, what's the point of that? Like, at that point, it's almost like you're deceiving your audience with clickbait titles to just get them in the building and then just crap all over a product. You know, like more, the monitor thing, right? Monitor gate, whatever else, whether it be from Golden Tee or whether it be from Mortal Kombat 30th anniversary. Those are legitimate concerns. I get that. But if your issue is now because the game list is the same, what do y'all really think y'all are going to get? Like, honestly, somebody let me know. What did y'all really think that y'all were going to get, man? The point is this. Let people be happy, man. Let them eat cake. Okay, I hate that saying, but I said it anyway. You know what I mean? But let people enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff about that cabinet that y'all have no idea about and that you don't know about. Again, we'll talk about it tomorrow. And I got it directly from the source. A couple of us did. You know, so, you know, it's it's more of just be happy, enjoy what you have. And if you don't like something, don't talk about it. Unless your view is like really to get clicks and, you know what I'm saying, make content about stuff that you really don't care about. The other funny thing about this is a lot of people are going to sit here and say that they don't like it and they don't care. But it'll be those same people that are putting up reviews about it. I'm just saying, man. Anyway, I might ball trades. You know what I'm saying? This video isn't going to be heavily edited. I just want to get this out because this, I genuinely feel like this, man. It's literally like, bro, next thing people are going to be complaining about is what kind of AC adapter they use in the wall. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to be complaining about what kind of zip ties are used when they package the product. Like, come on. I even saw the complaint about Midway. A mid, mid, the freaking thing being a midway cabinet. Fun fact, if you've ever been to an arcade in, in a not sedity, not rich area, lots of midway cabinets were converted into Capcom. And that right there shows that either A, you lived in a rich city, or B, you never really went to those gutter freaking arcades. But I digress. I'm Mike Valtres. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.